just peels out super easy. And then we can look where my original repair was. Yeah, she's coming out nice. That's good. That is good. 2023 and season four. I think this will even go to 2024. I don't know. All I can tell you is that we've been sailing the boat and enjoying ourselves. Minimal amount of boat work this year, but that's okay. I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy the boat. And I also want to enjoy some boat drinks. Nothing better than being sun-kissed on the uh, water. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos. And if there's something you want to see, I implore you to reach out and ask me. And I'm more than happy to record it for you. Boat work is my favorite. So if you have some need for a helping hand, by all means, just reach out. I'm here. But until then... I hope you guys uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and cheers to you in the water. What's going on, guys? All right, so, you know, everyone messes up, and I messed up real bad last year. Um, you all know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist, but a realist at the same time. And we had done the keel repair, and mind you, that was perfectly fine. There were no issues. We sailed all last year. Keel came out. Smile looked great. Over the winter, I developed... Let's see if I can't show you something similar to it. A small hairline. And now this is not it. But it was, it was even smaller than this. It was basically like... None of this is what it was. But it was a tiny little crack. It didn't even seep water. Um, back here on the keel. It was like right here. So, I let it go and I didn't pay attention for quite some time. And then it was spring, it got warm, and I was like, you know what? I don't like that being there. I want to fix that. So, <laughs> I ground it all out. I didn't record any of it. Don't know why, it was just, uh, I was in a mood. And I fiberglassed it, used West Systems, um, used their pumps. Anyway. Uh, I came back down a couple days later to sand it. I was getting launched the next morning and it never kicked. And I'm like, man, what's going on here? So I put some heat on it and I was getting launched and it was, it was going to be like two weeks later I'd be able to go in. And I was like, man, it was just co cosmetic. So I'm not too, too worried about it. <laughs> well, when we pulled her out this year. Um, now, mind you, I've already messed with this. Um, again, I put a little quick coat of fair compound over it because I knew it was going to have to be redone but here we go the fiberglass still never kicked so this is me pulling it apart you guys are watching um, I need to dig this all out and it's so grimy and then I need to uh, clean that all up and relay glass so today I'm down here I'm pulling out this fiberglass patch it wasn't even a patch it was just a freaking cosmetic thing i'm dumb so dumb but we all can't be perfect right so i'm pulling that out and then i'm going to uh clean it grind it and then tomorrow come back down and glass it i should have used the total boat stuff um just got a lantern fly let's see have you guys seen any of these lantern flies where'd he go oh, i guess i didn't get them um so yeah, I just got a little bit of work to do with this, and it's messy and it's grimy, and I don't want to do it, but I have to, because it looks terrible. <laughs> I messed up. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to put the camera down uh, and film as I pull it out, just because I don't want to be touching the camera with these hands, but um, let's check this out. I think you can see it. Oh, this is already nasty. Um, yeah, none of this actually kicked, and I knew it, but... I was like, whatever, I want to use the boat. I'm hoping that this all just peels out super easy. And then we can look where my original repair was. Yeah, she's coming out nice. That's good. That is good. Oh, so nasty. But, um, so what I figured out that I did was I used the West Systems pumps and, um, this morning, while I was looking at it, I realized my mistake, and now I do, I've worked with the stuff forever, I've never had issues, and what I wound up doing was I used the wrong pump, um, and hence it didn't get any hardener. So now, it still smells like the day I did it. We'll dig it out, 
and I'm gonna need to go get another glove here in a second. I'll pull this whole patch off, and it's supposed to be nice and warm right now, so in theory, I should be able to um, re-glass it tomorrow after I clean it up with acetone. Give me one second, let me go get another glove. All right, so that's that. Now, I know, pull all that out. Go around the other side. Cool thing is, because of this mess up, I can see how well my uh, keel repair has been doing. And she looks really good. Let's see, look at that. Look at that piece. Yeah. Pull you around. Oh, everything's gonna start sticking to me now. Hold up, let's do this. I don't know what that brown stuff up in here is. It appears to be resin. That's so gross. It smells like it still. So I'm just gonna pull all this out. And yep, there we go. That's the end of it. Again, I knew this was happening. Um, not really a surprise to me. Sucks. I should have taken more time with it, but hey, what can you do? So now I'm going to do, I don't know what this is. What I'm going to do now is acetone all this, and then I'm going to have to grind out this whole section again. Um, that's fairing compound, but you can see where my joint is here, um, the keel joint to the stub, still perfect, no sagging, nothing. Um, this is just fairing compound down here that's got this little crack in it so I can grind that down better. But yeah, so we're gonna have to fix this now. This is I just need a new glove here. This glove's been ruined. Alright, to the bag of tricks. And then I think I'm gonna grind just to smooth it. Yeah, she's still a little tacky, but I don't think I'm getting it all off anyhow. So let me go get a grinding disc. I might even use a wire wheel actually now. That'll get rid of a lot of it with a wire wheel. But what a dumb mistake I made. But we're all privy to them. Well alright. Do not make fun of my safety glasses and or my uh, mask. It is what it is. They're very safe safety glasses. Gotta love spy. You know what? I think I can actually glass today. Not going to though. Too many things going on. All right, so that that's part one. I was getting rid of the stuff that didn't hold. <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, it's all cleaned up, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that back a little bit further. You can see the compound on top of the old glass. I'm gonna take that out, bring it back just a little bit further, clean up, and then uh, I'll lay glass in there. Again, this isn't structural. This was just a cosmetic stupidity of my my being you know basically I had a I said a little tiny little crack in the fairing and I was like oh you know what this is a really thin area of the keel on the Catalina 30s because of the bend right there they're really susceptible to getting little stress cracks I'm like oh, I'm gonna build it up and it's gonna be awesome it wasn't so awesome but that's my fault um, you know you gotta be really careful when you use that stuff, those pumps. Um, again, I, I probably should have taken my time. This was, you know, only two layers of shop strand here. If I had taken my time and read the instructions, um, I would have used the correct pump and I wouldn't be doing this right now. But you guys know me, I get bored when I just sit around. So I'm not mad at it. It just did, uh, it sucks. I screwed up because it looked fine. 
when it came out of the water, I tapped it. And I was like, boink, boink. I'm like, oh, she's still soft, which I knew was going to happen. So, you know, I knew something was going to happen. Still did it. And here I am. But not a big deal. Um, I don't have a lot of hardener, but that's really not going to be a lot of glass right there. I might drive down the street real quick and see if I can get another bottle of 205. Um, I really want to, I got I to gotta order some better uh, resin from Total Boat. You know, messing around with pumps, it just comes with the, you know, the bottle and the pump come together. It's a great kit. It's, I think it's even cheaper than the, the West Marine stuff, but um, either way, I got to use up what I have left. And that means another bottle of hardener for the West system. And uh, after that, no more. I'm sticking solely with Total Boat after that. But um, this will be part one. I'll get you part two uh, coming once I start the glass, which will probably be tomorrow. Maybe I'll merge these. We'll see. See how I'm feeling. If I go home and get to the vodka tonight, I'll probably just make this video and pump this one out for you tomorrow to go along with the prop shaft one that just came out and um, go from there. Again, that prop shaft. I just pulled the barnacles off it. I think I'm going to order the prop stuff from Total Boat this year. I know I keep mentioning them, and I'm not sponsored by them. They just make the ultimate product. Um, yeah, their, their stuff's just amazing. So I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing this year. I'll grind that shaft back down to brass or bronze or whatever the hell it is, and then I'll uh, I'll get their, their coating. But all right, let me, uh, let me get cleared up here so I can go get a little bit more hardener. Again, I cannot wait until I am done with this West Systems resin. I've just all these other small little projects with little boats, but having nothing but issues with it. And um, I'm just not a wasteful person. Otherwise, I would, you know, throw it away and just start fresh. But I still have like a like a, I don't know, like a quart left of the West System stuff. So we'll you, we'll burn that up on this project, and then all the small sailing dinghies that I'm fixing for the marina this year will be uh, strictly total boat resin and uh, the total fare, which is like the greatest product ever made. All right, cool. Also, if you guys like the, these these videos, come on, smash that like and subscribe. It really makes me feel better. I'm not monetizing. I just want to know that people are watching these, so I really would appreciate that. You guys are the best. And uh, again, any questions, comments, or concerns, or a project you're working on on your boat, you need to figure out. You're in the New York area. I'm more than willing to help. Although I'm going to be really busy with that 1982. But thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.